in this session let's learn about partitioning okay why partitions right today the data is growing tremendously okay organizations are storing millions of data right if you want to manage these millions of data and query those millions of data to extract what you need it's lot of work for the database right yes as the data grows bigger and bigger it becomes challenging for the database to process the data so databases came up an idea of partitioning where they break the big table into multiple pieces those multiple pieces are called partitions okay suppose example you have thousands of files okay and you want to search for a file name called peter if you want to search those thousand files it's tough right instead of that if you organize them alphabetically and you have a tag showing the partition name you can go to the p partition and then search for the name peter right just the same way oracle also divides your table into multiple pieces to manage the data better okay in a non partition table all your index all the data is stored in one table okay but whereas in a partition table huh, it is broken down into multiple partitions okay what are the advantages of partitioning so partitioning enables data management operations such as the data loads index creation and rebuilding and backup recovery at the partition level rather than on the entire table that means instead of focusing all your data loads on the entire table wherever you want suppose example you are loading the january data you can load into this partition you are loading into february you can load into this data another example if you are building an index on the march data you can just build an index on this march data right in this way the amount of time you are spending is reduced right second advantage partitioning improves query performance example if you are querying the table for january and february data all you need to do is access january data and february data right thus it will improve the query performance another advantage it lets you perform concurrent maintenance operations on different partitions of the same table or index that means you can perform concurrent operations on this partitions on one partition you might be loading the data on another partitions you might be taking a backup and on another partition you might be building a index so you are doing your operations concurrently cool right and partitioning increases the available of mission critical databases if critical tables and indexes are divided into partitions to reduce the maintenance window recovery times and impact of failures right because we are able to perform the operations concurrently so we can fastly complete the task automatically the maintenance window will be reduced that means we can perform the operations quickly and then bring back the application live right partitioning can be implemented without requiring any modifications to your applications that means suppose example you have a table where it is not partitioned and you want to convert that into a partition table you can do that without changing any code of your java application or dot net application or any application okay because of all these advantages partitioning became a really cool concepts in the database world okay so what are the different kind of partition methods we have we have range partitioning list partitioning hash partitioning and composite partitioning okay we'll be discussing about each one of these partitionings in the coming sessions okay